Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to Solid Gold. Today I'm starting a new little mini series for you guys. It's going to be book reviews. As you guys have seen behind me in the background of lots of my videos, I have a small goldfish book collection and I keep adding books to it here and there. I actually just ordered a couple of new books two days ago, so that'll be, my book collection will be growing even more. Um, and I figured since I have these books, I might as well review each one for you guys so you can kind of pick and choose which one you might want to buy for your own collection. Today I'm going to be starting with this book called Chinese Goldfish, published by Tetra and written by Li Zhen. It was originally written in Chinese, so there are a little bit of things that occasionally get lost in translation, but for the most part it's translated very well. I will kind of go give you an overview of what is in the book to start off with, and then I'll give you what I think my pros and cons are of the book, and overall whether I would recommend you buy it or not. So first the book has a little foreword, which they're calling Goldfish Flower of the Water. Then they talk about the origin and development of goldfish raising in China. They talk about all the different shapes and colors goldfish come in, how to propagate goldfish, how to care for goldfish, prevention and treatment of fish diseases, and they also have at the end an introduction to goldfish varieties. I'll kind of tell you about my favorite things about this book first. So first of all, as you're flipping through here, you can see that they have a lot of really nice full color pictures. Um, some of them even span the whole page. And all the pictures for the most part are photographed, I think really artistically and nice. Like this one's really nice. Um, and then they show also some pictures about um, goldfish galleries that are in China and different goldfish parks and things like that. And then they also photograph um, different art artifacts from China that relate to goldfish. So those um, things are my favorite things about this book. First, the artistic pictures that they have showing really sometimes obscure and different goldfish varieties. And I also really liked that they have a pretty good insight about cultural significance and history of goldfish keeping in China. Now my cons about this book, first of all it's very outdated. Um, the revised version was published in 1990 so it's quite old, quite outdated. If you're looking for a book that's gonna give you m modern ways of keeping goldfish properly, this is not the book for you. For example, there's absolutely no talk of filtration or water circulation or anything like that. It's just really outdated. They even talk about keeping goldfish in bowls, so which as we all know is a very bad thing to do. So it's outdated in that sense. Another con, I thought it had really, really generalized information, just kind of barely scraping the surface. For example, one thing it talked about is that goldfish spawn once a year from March to May. But that that might be true as a baseline or in some climates, but it's not true for everyone everywhere. So for example, there are goldfish breeders in Hawaii, like Steve at Rain Garden, who get their goldfish to spawn all year long because it's a warmer climate and there's not really any winter there. So it's not, it has information that's very generalized and might be true to an extent, but it doesn't go into detail about the exceptions to the rule. One thing also that comes to mind is it talks about um, breeding stars or breeding tubercles that males have on their pectoral fins and their gill covers and it says that males have these. However, females do can and do have them too. I have a female who my um, female ghost bristol, she has spawned several times and she has a lot of breeding tubercles. So there are exceptions to every rule and this book just kind of glosses over that and just states everything very simplistically, which um, personally I don't like very much. Then there were some things, just minor things here and there that were lost in translation or maybe outdated, probably a mixture of outdated and lost in translation. Um, for example, they refer to arandas as high heads instead of arandas. They never actually call them arandas. That's not really a big deal, but if you're looking to this book as a definitive authority on what kinds of fish are called what, then you're gonna be led astray a little bit. And then I was looking forward to the varieties section, that's the last section of the book, but I was really let down by that section because it didn't go through, it didn't have any text along with it, it just had pictures and then captions with each picture. 
and it was very skewed. It didn't cover a lot of the main varieties. Instead, it really focused on more obscure varieties like fish with outturned operculum and nerial bouquets and um, bubble eyes and celestial eyes. It didn't really focus on the main varieties of goldfish and it didn't cover all the varieties of goldfish. It was not nearly exhaustive and so I was that was probably my biggest disappointment in this book is that it just f for some odd reason it just covers only a select few types of varieties and it doesn't even talk about other ones that exist. Now overall I would say that I am definitely happy to have this book in my collection. I really like it for the artistic photos and the um, cultural references and cultural photos that it had in there, but if you're looking for a book that is going to teach you how to care for goldfish in modern day, this is not the book for you. It does not go into any of that, and it can't because, you know, it's just, it was written such a long time ago. Um, so just keep in mind that any of the information stated in this book is very outdated, so you should really take it with a huge grain of salt. But if you understand that, and you're okay with that, it's a really good book to have in your collection just to look at the awesome pictures. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you want to see another book reviewed from my collection, just let me know which one you'd like to see in the comments below. You can see all my goldfish books behind me there. And be sure to head on over to my website. I make new blog posts a few times a week, so you can follow along with me there. And then I also post on my Facebook page regularly, so go ahead and check that out too. All the links for all all my um, social media and websites are down in the description section below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week.